Blended Podcasts. Brought to you by Blended Audio. Audio. Exploring the unexplained. Breaking down barriers. Putting the macabre under the microscope. Dissecting the disturbing. Seeking out the sinister. Bringing you the jinkies and the jump scares. Hey guys, and welcome back to Freaky Fridays with your hosts, Devin and Megan. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about some phenomenal phenomena. Well done for saying that, right? <laughs> I was about to say, try saying that five times fast. No, I can't even say once, <laughs> which is why I made you intro this one. I don't know which, I think it was me who came up with that name. And it's it just is. the worst idea ever. <laughs> it truly is. But I mean, it perfectly encapsulates what we're going to be talking about today. It really does, because our world is a weird and wonderful place. And there are some mysteries for you to ponder your mind on after today's session yeah i mean though the thing is when we were initially you know talking about approaching the subject like i had one that immediately came to mind and okay i'm gonna i'm gonna tell the story please do because i'm really disappointed that it's not i am devastated so we came up with this idea to talk about the phenomenal phenomena and I'm like, okay, great. I have this perfect idea. I don't know how many of you guys have heard about, um, it was a thing, a big thing a couple of years ago. There was a whole website dedicated to it where this person claimed that <clears throat> a couple of people all over the world had been dreaming about the same man, but the man did not exist. So they did almost like a, um, a sketch of the, I think a therapist did a sketch of this guy, put him up on mm-hmm. this website and they said, um, you know, write in, tell us your stories if you've dreamt about this guy. And there were millions of people from all over the world who'd had dreams about this guy, some bizarre, some normal, like... It's insane. But they'd all dreamt about this guy and it was this huge phenomena. And I was so intrigued by it. I remember going on the website, reading people's stories and just thinking it was the most bizarre and like yeah that's a really thing. good story to tell and i mean when i mentioned to somebody i know that we were approaching these topics mm. i said oh and we're going to be talking about this apparent guy in the in these dreams that everyone has and the, the person replied oh jeff uh, <laughs> apparently the guy's name was jeff i don't i'm not sure because like, like i said i it was a couple of years ago that this was a big thing and I, all i know is at the time he was referred to as this man because ah. people would say, have you dreamt of this, this man? man. Ah. I don't, they might have given him a name, Jeff. Whether he has a name or not, this person knew about it. Yeah, so what I'm saying. it was, so a, it was thing. a thing. But I was super, like, excited to research this and, like, you know, really put a great episode together. And I got online, typed it in, and I, I've been saying to um, people, like, the first thing I do when I research is I always pull up the Wikipedia first just to get basic facts, and then I go from there. And the first line of the Wikipedia was, this was an internet hoax. <laughs> Kills it on the spot. My dreams were dashed. And oh, <laughs> <laughs> mine too. I was excited for that one. I, I literally, I was so disappointed because I read internet hoax and I was like, well, now what? <laughs> <laughs> But I got a few, I got a few fun stuff, and I know you've got like an amazing. Like, I'd never heard of the story that Megan has before, and it was so creepy. I followed it religiously at the time. It, I know, this started happening. the The first one happened, I think, in twenty eleven. That's actually like okay, it's not that recent. <laughs> it's not not recent. Though. Yeah. Um, and. Since 2011, it's been happening here and there, but the most prominent, and I think this was last year Mm. that I came across it, and I was following it religiously because it spooked the heck out of me, but also, like, it was this, I don't even know how to describe it, like, it gave me a sense of wonder and curiosity and chills and... Yeah. (laughs) So I guess let's dive into that one a little bit. Yes, no, I like I said, you told me about it and you gave me, like, the bare details, showed me a couple videos and I'm so invested now, I need to know more. So the creepy thing that has been happening all over the world, and I mean all over the world, is a, uh, well, I think, like I said, it it started in 2011, but Mm. there was this, like, period of last year where it was traveling all around the world and people were sending in videos online reporting having heard really peculiar trumpet sounds coming from the sky. Mm -mm. And of course, everybody would 
try and put it down to maybe something happening in the city, maybe construction work and that. But ultimately, authorities and um, the government and the military in each place would confirm there was nothing happening that day. Mm. And if you just listen to the sounds, because obviously nowadays if something happens, everyone pulls out their phone and starts recording it. Um, the internet got flooded with these videos. And when you hear the sound, you can hear it's actually coming from the sky. It's not from, it's up mm. there and it's like reverberating around. That was the thing, you sent me a video of it. And like I said, I hadn't heard of this before. But you sent me the video and I was imagining like cutesy little like beep, 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 trumpets. <laughs> it is the most like chilling, chilling yeah, sound. Yeah, it is, it really is. And it's almost like you, you know that it, you can sense that it's coming like from the sky or whatever, but it almost like doesn't have a source. Yeah, it doesn't have a source. And you, when you hear it, you suddenly understand what hmm. we're saying. But yeah, the, this footage has flooded YouTube from all like locations, from British Columbia, Canada, Texas, um, Australia, it's spanned all across the world. Wait, I have a question. Any reported cases in South Africa? I don't think so. <laughs> that's okay, we're safe, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually the thing, because now obviously all these theories have spun from it. And one of the most prominent one for especially everybody religious out there um, that they've come up with is um, there's the eighth chapter in the book of revelations mm. that says seven angels having seven trumpets um and when they sound them then catastrophic events will hit the earth um and unfold including things like um scorching a third of all the green plant life on earth um a third of the sea becoming blood swarms of locusts given the power of scorpions and the apostle paul apparently described the resurrection of um the dead to occur on the last trumpet call. Oh, fun. <laughs> and pretty much, according to the Bible prophecies, when people hear trumpets in the sky, it signifies the end of the world. That these Great. are the end of times. So obviously this sparked up so many stories and people were scared and, I mean, I was. <laughs> well, I mean, everyone's been saying things have not been right in the world since 2012, so. <laughs> exactly. And this started after 2011, exactly. Actually, now that you point that out, then there's other theories that have come up, like some people are saying it's extraterrestrials trying to make contact with us. The look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, you say extraterrestrials, I feel like I believe in extraterrestrials. And if they're out there, I think they're a little more intelligent than just being like, yo, we're going to sound our trumpets. Please respond. <laughs> it's like a please call me from aliens. It kind of is. But yeah, people, it, it, it's occurred day and night people have been woken up out of beds by it it sort of affects people in a way that everyone just stops and stares i mean obviously it's yeah. very bizarre um it gets all the animals hyped up i think you've heard in some of the videos you've got dogs going ballistic yeah. in the background and apparently some people who've heard it um have experienced really severe nightmares afterwards oh great <laughs> it gets um, better I'll read this in this little report this one guy said after having heard it. I've had vivid nightmares ever since I posted the very eerie, strange sounds that is Mrs. Suri talking and looking towards the sky. Awful, awful nightmares. My wife woke me from a dream last night where she says I was screaming like I've never screamed before. I was taking my daughter out for her daily exercise along, along with my dog and I started hearing the sounds early on our little adventure. And my first time it was my dog that perked her ears up and my daughter stopped in her tracks. Um, so yeah, it's affecting people quite <laughs> in, in very strange and weird ways. And I think we as human beings are like pretty good at recognizing sounds. Mm. Um, so when it, we encounter a sound that we can't actually explain or put to a source to, it yeah. does tend to actually affect us quite a lot. I mean, we were just talking about it now before we started recording, like, you know, <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> Like, you would just stop, whip out your phone, just so you could be like, hey, I'm not crazy, this is what I witnessed. Uh, should we actually maybe even play a little segment of it, just for, to give people an idea? Before you do, let me say this. Like, the story itself is so creepy, but the minute you hear it, it just kicks it up a notch. It really does. And what's actually interesting to note is at the different, obviously, locations, it, it sounds slightly different in mm. each 
um, area, but there's no mistaking it's like a trumpet sound yeah. through and through. So just for a few seconds, this is pretty much what people around the world have been hearing coming from the sky. Okay, I just got to say, listening to it again, when I first listened to it, it reminded me of something and I couldn't put my finger on it and I've just realized what it is. I don't know if you watched War of the Worlds. I was just going to make that reference. It sounds it like the War, the War of the, the Worlds. Worlds. It is. Uh, when you were saying earlier, it makes you think of something else, I was like, it makes me think of the War of the Worlds movie. Yeah, like when those weird yeah, things... Machine alien things came. Yeah. Exactly. Damn. And it's just such a, like... It has such an end of the world tone yeah. to it. It doesn't like sound cheerful. Bit. Not at all. Um, funny enough, um, a lot of people say it will occur simultaneously with thunder, but then others will experience it on completely clear days. And then there are there was also a certain time period where, whenever people were hearing those, they were also hearing what sounds like cannon fire in the sky. Oof, okay. That's sort of not like promising. cannonballs being fired off. Um, and that just reinforced the whole Gabriel's trumpet um, belief mm. and that we were hearing angels telling us that the end is near. <laughs> so bizarre, man. <laughs> it really is. And I think I, one of the things that stands out to me is that it, it's not just happening in one place. If it was just happening in one place, you could be like, okay, well, the government's trying to hide something or... You know, there's something else going on, but it's happening around the world. That's what got to me as well. As well as I, I did hear, obviously, authorities trying to come up with some solutions to what it is, but the solutions that don't make any sense to me. The one was it's all the trees in the forest and something with the wind whistling through them. My question is why not any other year, but suddenly. Yeah. Even so, for them to try, for that sound to travel such long distances and sound like that, it, do, it doesn't sound Weak. like... Yeah, <laughs> Next. It's, not, it's not a good explanation. <laughs> then there's uh, one or two people who have claimed to have heard it after seeing something called ball lightning. I don't know what that is. Please explain. <laughs> that was my response when I read that as well. I was like, what? So ball lightning is apparently... There's no agreed upon description of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a strange phenomenon where sort of like... Well, as the name suggests, it's this ball of lightning appears during a thunderstorm, and it's it almost like it'll form an orb kind of thing, mm. and suddenly shoot out in a wave, and apparently with such force that it can break windows and have quite nasty results, and it's not a very often or common occurring thing. Yeah. Um, it's actually very scarce; only a handful of people have actually witnessed it. But, and like I said, there's no definite description to describe it. Mm. But from the different stories that have come together, there have been different ways of almost telling the same thing. Yeah. That sounds like end of times weather to <laughs> me, man. <laughs> and then, yeah, um, just in, I think then the last, not the last, but another thing that people would, um, some people reported after having heard it or while hearing it, mm. and I actually showed you this a bit earlier, was very strange formations in the cloud. Yeah. So no, it's right. ring formations. I mean, I have seen, okay, not accompanied by trumpets coming from the sky, but I have seen that where like the clouds almost form like a ring either around the sun or just like... I've seen that as well. Mm. And I think it's an absolutely incredible phenomenon to happen, but... Mm. To have it in conjunction yeah. with that, I would definitely think, oh, this is this is the last day. <laughs> well, it's been a good life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so bizarre, man. But yeah, I think weird sounds in our world, it's, it's not an uncommon thing. I know a few years ago, I came across, just because I like really finding these weird and bizarre stories, mm. they entertain me endlessly. And I came across the whole story of the bloop Oh yes, you've been talking about this and I really want to know more. It's like the weirdest name ever. <laughs> <laughs> it, it sounds kind of funny, actually, when you hear it. The, um, so basically the bloop was something that occurred in 1997. And um, what happened was while searching for underwater vo uh, volcanoes mm -hmm. um, or just off the coast of South America, scientists recorded something that they couldn't explain. And it was a strange, like exceptionally loud noise that they called the bloop. 
Now, what's funny is if you <laughs> listen to that recording, it, it's ob- it's obviously not very loud. Mm. It's just a little like, boop. like a, it's a, it sounds like a bubble escaping up to the top for surface, you uh-huh. know. But when they play it, sort of when they slow it down and like get into what that actually would have sounded like, it is the creepiest sound ever. And what fascinates me so much about that is that it was the loudest underwater sound that ever recorded and it sort of got captured across so many miles by so many different of the so many of their beacons Mm. and they said that for something to make that amount of sound it would have to be ginormous that's not even a word but i'm going to use it (laughs) it's a a word (laughs) um and what they they did manage to um come to the conclusion of was that it was organic it wasn't man-made okay so then they started speculating was it maybe um ice icebergs clashing into one another was it maybe um just the earth's plates you know colliding Mm. another theory and the one that captured my attention the most Mm -hmm. was um that if it was a creature that we have not yet discovered or that lies at the bottom of the ocean where we can't reach Mm it would be three or four times bigger than the blue whale. Okay. I just want you to remember the blue whale being the biggest yep. creature we have here. <laughs> three or four times bigger than that. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a story that gave me endless entertainment. Like, it's so weird how this coincides, because, I mean, just just earlier we were talking about, um, like, Megalodon and how creepy the things from the ocean are. I've now discovered that I have an endless fascination for creatures in the ocean. I can't I can't <laughs> with those deep sea creatures, man. They're the ugliest things. They are, and I get so scared about all this stuff, but I'm so endlessly fascinated. No, it is fascinating. But that is also terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> and something I definitely do not want to think about when I'm trying to fall asleep at night. <laughs> but I do, I do appreciate the name, the bloop. It sounds like a, a cartoon character from like a 90s kids show. <laughs> it's the bloop, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Are you, are you done? Cool. Cool. She's done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting them know. Okay, well, moving on from the bloop. <laughs> I feel like I just want to say that now all the time. <laughs> um, so after my little debacle with this man the dream man yes how i was horribly let down i isn't that such an accurate picture it is Mm. let down by your dream man Um, mm -mm. (laughs) um so i had to sort of do some scrambling and try and find some new story and um in in my my search I came across a really great website called i think it's called weird new jersey or weird nj new jersey Mm -hmm. um and I was instantly like, this is my website. I love this. Because, okay, no offense to anyone from New Jersey who's listening, but New Jersey is a weird place, guys. It is weird. It's like the Narnia of our world. <laughs> I just feel like there are always so many weird stories about New Jersey. And it's just such a mystical place to me. Mystical New Jersey. So this website is completely dedicated to just, you know, documenting the weirdest places, the weirdest cases, the weirdest things in New Jersey and I came across a whole bunch of stories um one of them that stood out the most to me didn't have a name (laughs) but um so it's basically a place in Salem County off Route 40 in Woodstown um Mm -hmm. it's a stretch of road called Slab Town Road and um this road is sort of situated between two fields and then it cuts through a small section of woods um, and there's like a little bridge that goes over a stream. It's very, it sounds very magical. I was going to say, it's a very picturesque <laughs> place. I, I suppose depending on how you look at it, it could be insanely scary or like really magical. It's, it's set for a movie either way. Yeah. But apparently if you, I think you walk towards Route 40, if you walk towards Route 40, you can hear footsteps following you through the forest. No, I've had that before. That's not pleasant. <laughs> but, uh, wait, wait, what? You've had footsteps following you through a forest? Oh, you should know you were with me and I just about tackled you over to get out of oh, the way. Oh, not in a forest. Not in the forest, but I've had footsteps following me. That's Nonetheless, true. it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant. <laughs> but um, anyway, so when the footsteps stop, apparently all of these lights appear 
Um, I think, it, from what I could understand, it's in the fields. So it appears on the trees around the field, it appears in the grass, it appears on the ground, but That's not in mid-air. Scary. Not yeah. in mid-air. Not in mid-air. And you can apparently touch the lights, but you cannot make them move or disappear. Why would you want to touch the lights? There's hum- weird floating lights around you. We're humans, man. It's no. like one of those don't touch the big red button. We're like, I want to touch the big red button. So, yeah, apparently that's what happens. You get followed by these footsteps and then all of these weird lights appear. And it was... Uh, the nice thing about this website that I was on is that they, they break down the story for you and then you get a lot of people who comment and give their stories. Mm-hmm. And there was also a woman who said that um, she went out there and heard the footsteps. I think she was with a friend or her husband or something. They heard the footsteps and that was like no bueno for them. They got in the car. They wanted to sort of watch from a safe distance. So they got in the car and watched from where they were and the lights appeared. So there were like countless people backing up the story and there was just no explanation for it. It sounds very, and this is heavy in I think the Irish culture, but it sounds like a very fairy kind of Mm phenomenon going on there. Yeah. That's what I would imagine. But you know what it reminded me of? I think we actually spoke about it. Oh, when we spoke about the Hoyabachu forest. That's exactly also what it reminded me of. Also the lights. The red lights. Yes. I thought of that too. Yeah, so it immediately reminded me of that, but then also like it's different, whereas this is all on the trees or on the ground, and the ones in the Hoyabachu forest are very sort of free floating. Um, But yeah, just literally no explanation for it. And then another one that I found, I, I literally just picked like one or two because there are a whole bunch of stories on there. I would definitely recommend checking that website out. It's so much fun. Um, but it's a place called Double Trouble State Park. Is that a real place? I think so. <laughs> okay. If it is, the red flag is in the name. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's on the border of Berkeley and Lacey Townships in Ocean County, New Jersey. And um, apparently what the thing there is, is that there's the circle... I'm not sure how big, it didn't state, but a circle of dead trees that have all been flattened outwards. Flattened outwards? Yeah. And it all just, it's all circular, and then around that circle, the trees are alive and green and happy and (laughs) normal. That's bizarre. And no one can explain how that happened. Um, A lot of people have theorized that it's UFOs or... Because it is very, like, crop cycle-ish, you know? Mm. Uh, Crop circle? Crop Crop cycle? Crop circle. Can we Google that? Because <laughs> both sound right to me, but anyway. Um, so a lot of people have theorized that it's like it's UFOs and it's very much the same thing, but again, no explanation for it. And it, again, it's been backed up by many, many people who've seen it at Double Trouble State Park. Well, that's the thing, and I know as people we love to put explanations to things, but they sometimes just aren't. Yeah. With this trumpet phenomenon going around, mm. they have not been able to give an, a solid answer as to what it is. NASA tried to step in and say um, it's just the background sounds of Earth, and that's what Earth sounds like. And we can't normally hear it until it hits a really low frequency. Sounds fake, NASA. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. They're all very weak arguments. Even them, they even put forward that it might just be the sound of space mm. that we're hearing. But yeah, there's no, nobody ever actually knows. I, but that's what makes it interesting. That it is. is. What you, that's what attracts me. <laughs> yeah, you want to follow to get to the bottom of it. But before we start wrapping up, I wanted to find out from you when like the last occurrence of these trumpets were. So some were heard this year as well. Oh, damn. So it's happening still to this day. Not as frequently as it did last year. Like I said, mm. last year it hit a point where it was like I, w- I was getting notifications on my phone <laughs> because, yes, I look at this stuff often and now my phone knows and lets me know. Um, There's been another trumpet. <laughs> well, that's what it was doing. And I was seeing it like weekly. Mm. Uh, that seems to have calmed down now. But I do know um, within this year, a couple of people have made videos and put them up as well. And of course there are the fakers out there, Mm. people who will go and push it beyond what it needs to be. But there is a lot of authenticity to this one. I'm definitely, I'm going to go watch like all the videos (laughs) when I get home. (laughs) Just fall down like a YouTube portal of Mm. all the trumpet videos. (laughs) Join the club. And to all of you out there, join the club as well because it's a really cool thing to look up. And you can join our club again next week because we've got another very exciting episode coming up, one that we cannot wait to tell you about. 
Uh, this one, I honestly, like, I could have carried on researching for hours. And that's why I think, as we said, we uh, there'll be maybe many episodes spanning on from that one. Yeah, so definitely tune in to find out what we're talking about next week. We'll keep you in suspense until then. <laughs> Freaky Fridays, hosted by Devin Beatty and Megan Portnoy, and produced with the generous assistance of Yanu Blau and Blended Podcasts. Brought to you by Blended Audio.